Real estate commissions are up 25%. Are you getting your share? Hello, my name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thanks for joining us today. According to a survey from NAR, your incomes are up 25%, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor out there, which is awesome because this is only the second Ooh. time that that has happened in the last 10 years. In fact, they're not getting rich though, Dylan. <laughs> I know that. So <laughs> We know, understand that. We you, get that. You're not getting rich. You're up 25%, but the median income for 2012 was $43,500. Yay. Yay. But that's up from $34,900 in 2011. And yes, you are correct. That is the highest increase since 2006. If you're happy and, and you, you know, know it, clap, clap your hands. hands. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Producer, for saving our tails there because they certainly don't want to hear us <laughs> singing the whole show. Well, speak anyway, for yourself. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's a singer, not me. La la. Anyway, anyway um, a couple of the, the noteworthy things of, out of this survey that I found pretty interesting. Number one, the number of transactions that are closing 2011, you guys were closing about 10 a year. 2012, it's about 12 a year, so at least one a month. I thought that was pretty cool. That is pretty cool, but what's even cooler is if you stay in the industry longer, right. you will make more money. <laughs> so if you've been in the industry for at least 16 years, experience pays. It showed that you're gonna make 10 to $15,000 more a year just for being an old timer. <laughs> that doesn't sound really good, huh? No, 16 years is not. The yeah. other the other noteworthy thing is the number of hours worked. I know we all work our tails off all the time. It's definitely not as easy as it used to be, but Part-timers, you guys aren't doing so hot. Full-timers, 40 hours, are, are the ones who are making the average income. But those who work 60 hours or more, you guys are almost double. You guys are earning in excess of 80 grand a year. Ah, but guess what? Good for you guys. 85,000 to be exact. Yeah. But who counts money Him anyway? Him and his numbers. <laughs> yeah, I'm a money guy. But guess what the biggest challenge was for the real estate professional? What? You might ask. Da, da, da. <laughs> Obtaining a mortgage. Go figure. So that kind of got <laughs> us to thinking. We have a solution to that. I got this. You got this. <laughs> Watch our show. Live and learn. We will help you learn how to get these mortgage transactions closed. Okay, so here are some quick tips that all realtors should know without getting into a whole lot of detail. Let's just do some really quick true false. Okay, I can do this. I got a 50-50 chance, right? That's right. Number one, I can't get a mortgage with less than 5% down. Ah, false. 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 Actually, you can get a mortgage at 100% with a VA, mm -hmm. with USDA, right? in a USDA approved area. Uh, Fannie Mae actually has 3% down programs now. Right. They are and, back. And of course, FHA is 3.5% down. Number two, I can't get a mortgage with less than a 680 credit score. Eh. Eh. False. <laughs> Actually, you can get a good mortgage program with about a 620 score. Okay. FHA has really no score requirements, but they can all vary by bank. Right. But you can definitely get a good loan with a score less than 680. Number three, when I have a pre-approval letter in my hand, that means I am good to go. I've been through underwriting and we are all set. No. No, you're not going to trick me into that. No. <laughs> you still got to go through underwriting. They still got to rip you apart and tear you up and take your blood and all that. So things can go wrong, unfortunately. They're just taking a snapshot when they do the pre-approval, kind of saying you're good to go based on the criteria we have. So right. that is definitely false. Number four, all lenders have the same fees out there. Really? <laughs> okay, no. no. Actually, most of them are pretty darn close right. these days. Right, they're not that far off. It's all regulated, but you definitely want to shop because fees can vary. Which leads us to number five, which is the best deal is with your own local bank. Really? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I love my bank, so I don't want to mock them. I know, them. I know. But you, you know what? You definitely still need to shop because sometimes your bank will offer you a preferred program discount. Right but it's not always the best deal for you. So I think when you're out shopping, don't be all about rate. Really look for a competent person to work with, somebody with experience. Right. 
that's really going to go further for Especially you in the long Especially with run. all these changes lately, you definitely want your client working with an experienced loan originator who knows their stuff. So let's summarize what we talked about this week. Yes. All right. So work more hours if you're in real estate. <laughs> you're going to make more money. Stay in the industry longer. You'll make more money. Find a competent loan officer. To help you through. Yeah. The number one challenge you guys have, find somebody competent to work with. This is a good show, guys. Share it. We're out there on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those things. Share this show. Get it out there. Also, please click on our links up here for our sponsors. These are the people who help us get our stuff done all the time, and I know they can help you too. Thanks so much for watching. We are today and every day. Moving forward. We will see everyone next week. Bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Da, da.